everybody, I'm Zenith Rule, and we are going to continue on with our wise stream. Um, I or East, however it's pronounced. It's a it's a very uh, it's not an easy to pronounce title for a video game anyway. Uh, but we're going to continue on. Uh, this is a short game, so I'm hoping to at least get to the second uh, second portion or uh, try to get to the Darm Tower. Um, by the end of the session, last time we did a few things in game, uh, but nothing too major. Not not like anything that um, was groundbreaking. We we pretty much just grinded and went to different towns and stuff. Uh, that's about it. Um, so hopefully this this portion of the game we're actually gonna like fight some bosses and whatnot. Uh, but without further ado, let's start up the music. I did lower the music a little bit so that it's easier to uh, hear us, um, and yeah, let us load a game. So we were in a Zepic village. There we go. Uh, level 5, so we're about like halfway to where we should be. We have, we have our equipment. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to play. Let's see, how do I? You bump into things. No, no, I'm I'm trying to remember what the the layout to to open the inventory is. Mm. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just blind at the moment because for some reason there the Twitch go. stream isn't working on my end. Okay, inventory. So we have a few things in our inventory. That's V, C. Okay, it must be something on your end, because Ari in the Discord just said he can't watch either. What? Well, I know Ari was having problems before, but um, I'm pretty sure, like, that I'm not having any dropped frames or issues on my end. Um, Maybe Twitch is just being screwy. Twitch could be screwy. That could be it. Um, okay, so... V is inventory. But I'm trying to find... Um, the menu? Yeah, I'm trying to find the menu. It, it wasn't an escape? Yes. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's like not exactly in the place that I would expect it to be. You know what I'm saying? All yeah, because right. I remember us having this problem last time as well. Yeah, it's just it's the problem of PC controls. Um, all right, there we go. So we have all the current. That's why I played this on with the controller. Yeah, we have current equipment. Um, I was going to play with the controller, but uh, last time I remember the cat chewed through my wires. Um, this time it's fine. I have the wire, but my cat's right here, so. I would, I, I, I would much rather just continue where we were. So, um, next thing we have to do, if I remember correctly... We're going to the shrine. ...is to go up to the shrine. Okay. We're actually over leveled because I remember you saying we're at level five now. The yeah. guide actually recommends we actually be level four when we go in. Okay, so here's the shrine. Is this the dungeon? Yeah, that, that, it's the start of the first dungeon. And I guess I just got transported. Uh, okay. So yeah. the, the golden statue. The crystal you got from the crystal you got from I think Sarah uh, Jenna I think gives. Oh no, that's the key. Uh, it's the crystal you got from uh, the fortune teller back in. Uh, All right, this chest is locked. Yeah. Um. I wonder if they're all going to be locked. No, uh, there's some chests that'll be open. Okay, we found a ruby. <laughs> Trash for Pim. And by trash for him, I mean you sell it for money. Okay. Uh, the layout of, the, of this dungeon is very confusing because 
You can only see the bottom of doors. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna wander around <laughs> and look for stuff because okay, that's that's a dead end. Just if I remember rightly, just don't go through the big special door on all the way on the far left. Okay. Welcome to East. Where everything is confusing. Okay, shrine key. Oh, that's right, there's this guy. You completed the first floor, here's a boss. At least it's an easy boss, it's just... There's fire everywhere. Yeah. Basically, the strategy with him is, hit him when he appears, don't get hit by the fire. And when you're in a boss room, your health doesn't regenerate. Nor can you use healing items for some reason. Hmm. Ow. And I'm dead. Add one to the death count. Ding! <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. You did save before you went in, right? Oh no, but it's not very far away and I didn't do anything. Alright, I'll save now. Let's see, escape. All right. Let's do this. All right, so the only chest that I can open is that ruby over there. Okay, we have the ruby. And now we gotta fight that guy again. Try and key, save. All right. So fire, watch out for fire. Get out of the fire. Through the fire and the flames will carry on. And uh, this, this mini boss, it doesn't have too much health, but he's a pain in the ass because he always gathers around the fire. Yeah, he tries to... As far as this guy, the guide I'm reading is concerned, since I can't see the stream, he mostly tries to appear as far away from you as possible. Yeah. Got him. Alright, so that's the mini-boss down. It only took one, uh, one health bar. One, one, uh, one death. I should say. Oh, Enigma just tried to watch and it just refuses to connect. That's... So it must be something with Twitch. Really? Hmm. Let me try on my end. Because that's that's weird. Um try to at least open Twitch. Because I, I can usually at least watch your streams, even if it is stop and start. There's something I'm up with. Getting anything. We're gonna have to stop streaming because I'm getting a network error too.
Hello everybody, I'm Zenith Rule, and welcome back to the East stream, and I actually pronounced it correctly this time. Um, we are on our um, official second stream of East Ancient, uh, East Vanished Omen, or Ancient East Vanished Omen. It's, it has like five different titles, um, but, so this is the first game in the East series, and last time we tried to stream it, and uh, we got like 10 minutes into the game uh, until we realized, oh, there's there's a glitch on there's a glitch on Twitch's end. And so we ended up beating a mini boss in one of the dungeons, and I think I saved. So if that's the case, I can always just put the footage uh, together later. But um, we'll we'll see how it goes. Either way, we're at the first dungeon of the game. Uh, we're just getting ready to to do a few different things. Um, for example, like this is where the game actually like starts. Um, I think it's like two hours into the game before we actually get to the first dungeon, and we've been to three villages already, and we've gotten to level five. <laughs> um, but anyway, joining me once again is uh, my patron and friend Twilight Falchion, who uh, donated this game. And also uh, donated for me to play it. So let us load the game. Okay, yeah, we we saved right after we defeated the boss. So okay, so this is officially two point one. That's stream two point one. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll uh, highlight the ten minute stream accordingly, and then I'll go from there. Um, I'll, in the, in the YouTube broadcast, when I eventually get around to posting it, I'll just combine the 10 minutes with this. Um, with that being said, let us get started. So, yeah, we, we beat the last boss. He was a fire guy. Uh, well, it, it was like a ghost. No, well, it was, well, he, he was more disappear and reappear. The fire was just... From the statues he brought with him. Yeah, it wasn't a very hard boss because it was like three hit kill. Um, but that granted, <laughs> even though you you were kind of over leveled with air quote. Oh well, I'm always over leveled. Granted, you can only get to level ten in this game, so I'm not really worried. That's why I went air quote. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now here comes the hard part because. Um, you can only see, like, so far in this dungeon, <laughs> and it's, it's... This part This part of the dungeon's got my favorite music in the game, though. Palace of Destruction. Yeah, um, I did lower the music a little bit, by the way. Like, it's not horribly soft, but it's soft enough to where you can probably... Hopefully hear it and me, because with my headphones, I can hear the music just fine. Um, and hear myself. I just... You know, with my with streams, I always want to make sure that I'm heard before the music. Okay, so down to level. Well, actually, I didn't want to go down to level two yet. Let's explore yeah, the stuff entire. Yeah, there's uh, the stuff you can do on this level first. Okay. Yeah, I don't. It's been a while since I've played this, so um. That's why I'm here. Yes. Uh, the good thing about this game, at least, is that it's pretty easy to pick up and play for the most part. Again, I think the bump system is a little outdated. It's not bad, but it's like it's one of those things where I wouldn't want to play it for like hundreds of hours. Like I, I wouldn't consider it like Kingdom Hearts levels of I have, uh, you know, I want to play this for hours and hours and hours. But it's certainly engaging enough to where. Um, I'm enjoying it. This is a good point to start with if you you are getting into the series, but there are other games that are as well, good points as well. Hmm. Like um, East Oath and Felgana. That's that's the one pretty much people will think of. Fans of East will think of. I've heard of Oath and Felgana. I haven't actually played it. But like, uh, everything's locked in this. Damn, um, the the chest is locked. The cell is locked. Okay, maybe you do need to go to level two and get the key, and maybe get the key. I'm 
again, it's been a while since I've played this too. Yeah, when we played it last together, well, I say together, but when when I played it last with your help, um, it, it, it was quite a while back. Like, it wasn't too long ago, but I want to say it was like a year. And I mean, that's that's long enough to, to where you start to forget things. Alright, I'm down to level, uh, to the next level, and I'm going to um, save... Maybe you should call it floor, because I keep thinking you've, ex you've leveled up again. Uh, shrine B2, that's where I am. So. Alright, um... Alright, and let's see, statue, 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 um, I'm gonna start up the, the first path, and that's a dead end, middle path, treasure chest, oh, I got the prison key, okay, so now I can go back to the- Just watch out for the enemies that are gonna appear. Oh yeah, the skulls. They're not that bad. <laughs> At least not compared to like... They, they, they do will catch you off guard if you weren't expecting it. Okay. Yeah, I'd actually recommend Oath and Falcana for people starting with the E-Series, because this might be a bit too old school for people nowadays. Yeah, it, it's one of those games where it's not horribly old school, but it definitely has some dated mechanics, and I can see people not easily getting into it. Like, it certainly has its place in the circle of life, but it's it's not something that I'm, like, really hankering to, to recommend to everyone. Though, theoretically, you could, aside from East 2, since that's basically the se the only direct sequel in the series. Every other story is self-contained, so you could theoretically start with any, any one of them. Yeah, I started with um, Memories of Celseta, and that's a good one to start off with because it's not horrible. Alright, so I use the prison key for the first cell, and that's an enemy. Um, second cell... And there's a woman here. Fina. Who are you? Adol introduced himself and explained his reason for coming to the shrine. My name is Fina. It feels like I've been locked up down here for my entire life. I remember it was a man in a black cape who put me here. Dark fact. He is a terrible man who seems to control the very mo uh, movements of the monsters. It's dangerous here. You should forget about me. Please, hurry. Get away from here while you can. I'll take her with me. You're saying I can... Yes. What's that? Hello? I thought the cutscene was over. Uh, it's not over. Okay. You're saying I can leave this place? Okay, now, uh, Adol. Thank you so very much. Adol swore to Fina that he would li lead her to a safe place. Okay. Escort Mission Ahoy. And I have the Mask of Eyes. All right. The man in the black cape put that mask in here with me. Perhaps it could be of some use to you. Yeah, that's probably... I believe that's later on. Um, now I gotta lead her out. There is an achievement... <laughs> because everything works on the bump system. Even your escort. E even your escortee. So she can attack and kill monsters, and there's an achievement for having her level up. <laughs> yeah, I think... But she is really weak, and monsters will kill her, so you're gonna need to 
do some heavy manipulation of things. Isn't there also an achievement for going into this uh, corner and then uh, moving her out of the way? No, I think it's pushing her into that corner yourself. Oh, okay. Either way, uh, that's one of the achievements. You can look that up. I've already gotten it. It's it's one of those ones that I... It's like, it's not super important. <laughs> like, it's not... I, I've already gotten it. It's not really essential to 100%. Yeah, I don't God, she is slow. Hooray, escort missions. Okay, and then we're out of the dungeon. And so you know, we have to escort her all the way back to town. Okay. I mean, so, uh, don't kill her. There we go. Yeah, she can die real fast if you're not paying attention. You can, like, everything dies real fast in this game. Yeah, but her more so, more so because she's not attacking them back, so they don't die. Uh. Well, she is technically attacking them back, but she does like one damage, I think. All right, we're back to the town, and not before she got lost once, because I was going too fast. I, I'm all right, Adol. I'm just tired. That's all. Don't worry about me. Fina lapsed into unconsciousness. Adol felt her forehead and confirmed that she had a fever. Luckily, Jebba's house was very close. Adol gently lifted Fina over his shoulder and promptly carried her to Jebba's. She's... <clears throat> old woman voice. Well, she's sleeping well. The medicine should help. Had a good... Had a good night's rest, and she should be fine by morning. Still, no matter how you look at it, it's a very strange story. The sacred inner sanctum, sealed under the shrine for so long, becoming home to monsters... And a girl in prison there, no less? So much of this simply doesn't add up. Alright, so, yep. Now she's sleeping, and the medicine's kicking in. Well, while I'm here, I'm gonna save the game. Yeah, just so we don't have to do that again. Yep. Alright, so... <clears throat> Back to the shrine, I guess. Back to the shrine. Let me see. But we we did gain a few things. Uh, in our key item inventory, we got the key, the prison key. Um, well, we we got the mask of eyes. Yeah, the mask of eyes. You can equip you can equip items, but don't equip the mask of eyes unnecessarily because. Its ability does something to the screen. We'll I'll tell you, we'll talk more about it when we actually get to use it. Okay. So I'm heading all the way back through the shrine, back through where we fought the mini boss. Of course, it's gonna take a while to get there. And all right. Now I'm back. We should, we should head back down to level B2. Well, first there's one more chest that I didn't open on level B1. Not sure what it is. Oh, it's still locked, so even with the key I can't open it. 
Oh wait, because the prison key only opens uh, locked the the cell, not the. It, yeah. It, it doesn't open locked chests. This isn't a skeleton key. It specifically said prison. Hey, hey, hey! A, a girl can can dream. A key that lo unlocks every single door, like that. That's that's the dream. That's that's the RPG dream. All right, I'm back down to B two. Um, now. I already went the first path, and I did the middle path. That's where I got this, the prison key. So that's set. Um, I'm gonna go through the third path. Left is a dead end. Right. Um, first path is a dead end. Second path. Okay, treasure chest. It's locked. God damn it. Take the third one. Okay. Third path. Left. Treasure chest is open. Oh, treasure box key. Okay. Now I got the key that I wanted. I mean, I understand the reasoning behind it because, like, it. Obviously, um, it's a separate key from the prison key. Oh, I got the silver bell, too. Um, but my reasoning here is that why couldn't you have just streamlined both of the keys together? Or at least paste them out a little bit further? Okay, and now I'm going to go back to B1 to open that chest. Don't forget to go back up to the top floor, because there were locked chests up there, if I remember rightly, as well. Uh, okay, yeah. It's been forever since I've been to the top floor, because our, fir our first stream of this was uh, a couple... Like, it was about a month ago? Yeah. Granted, like, that's simply because uh, we had a few things. Okay, necklace has been obtained. What is that something we can sell? Yeah, that's something you can sell. Right, let me open up my inventory. We have... Okay, yeah, there's a few things I can sell for later. Um, probably before we do the boss, I might sell some items and then upgrade one or two of my equipment. But uh, first things first, let's go to back to the first floor and look for any chests. And if we find any more chests, then I'm going to go back to the town. <laughs> I'm going to sell my items, upgrade my gear... And then go from there, because I have three, 3,500 gold. Gold. Chest is empty. The chest is empty. Yeah, I think one of them was already open. And that was the one you got the ruby from. Yes. No. Oh yeah, there's a chest right here. Shield ring. That, ah, the... that, that seems like something I should equip. Yeah. That... The rings are another equip are a separate equip slot. Reduces they're basically damage by half. Okay, that's great. Yeah, they they're basically miscellaneous effects. Yeah, I like you got. I, I never got the first ring. Hmm. Uh, try give. Actually, since we're up here, we can go back to town and return the silver bell. All right, so yeah, let, let's go back to town. We can return the silver bell. I can get some equipment. Um, where do you get the first ring? Because I'm trying to remember. I don't think we missed anything, did we? No, we didn't miss anything. I'm leading you to it. Okay. I don't care, old man Corvo. All right, um... Is there an item shop in Z in Zepic Village? No. No. Okay. So I'm heading back to the first, the second town, I should say, Manea. Detour, ahoy! 
let's see, right now we are level 6. Which, pretty close to our max. Okay. So we've got the... One more screen. Alright, we're back to Manea. It, I'll say this, at least. It's very quick to get back to towns. Um, first of all, we gotta go to the item shop. I'm gonna sell some shit. Oh, hello, Pim. There's some who call me Pim. Um, I'm gonna sell the ruby. There is actually another achievement you can get with this guy. With this guy. <laughs> uh, you can haggle. Um, let's see. Basically... <laughs> Basically, it's just saying no to him a whole bunch of times. Necklace. This is not a high-end necklace. Um, 500 gold. Trying to haggle with them, I don't think it's working. <laughs> I'll just sell them the necklace. Okay, buy. What do I want to buy? Wing, mirror. Are any of those needed right now? The wing is basically uh, fast travel back to Manea, so you may want to have one on you, just so we, you don't need to keep making the track every time we need to come back here. Eh, I'll, I'll wait on that. I'm good for right now. Alright, so we have 5,000 gold. Um, I'm gonna travel down to the, um... Let's see. Sh the armor shop, because I need a shield. Buy shield. Um, middle shield. Bye. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna equip the middle shield. So we got that. Um, and I'm gonna go over to the weapon shop and I'm gonna see if I can buy any of the top tier items. Buy weapons. Um, Talwar. It's from the Far East. Um, da da da. My shipment washed ashore, but it's still being cataloged. Um, so yeah, they don't have the Talwar yet. There is a free one, though. But that means we're gonna have to make the trek all the way back down to, uh, Barbado. True. Um, let's see. Can I buy armor? R uh, Reflex. The crowning jewel of my inventory, le leather armor treated with resin, 5,000 gold, I don't have enough. Okay, well that's all I can do for now with well, that. Did you buy a shield? Yeah, I bought the middle shield. Okay, that, um, I was because I was just about to say, I was wondering why you don't... Yeah, I have all the mid-level mid equipment, um, I'm saving now. Check. So now, I'm not... I, um, I bring the bell to the girl in this town. No, you were supposed to give it to old, Ma to uh, the mayor back in Zepic. Okay, well, if we're gonna be going there next, then um, let me just let's take the trek back to the first town, because you said there was a free Talwar. You need to talk to Slav. I think you can get it since we escorted Fina back. I think that was, that's the trigger for it. All right, let's try it. I, I will travel all the way back. It's like, you know, I could go in the dungeon, but yeah, yeah let's, let's do some side quests. We could wait a little bit. Hey, side quests will make you do the dungeon faster. That's true. All right, so um, I'm back in the first town. 
Who is Slaff again? The, is that the uh, guy in the the uh, bottom left? Yeah, he's the guy in the uh, militia headquarters. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. Well now, if it isn't at all, so what's the story? Learned anything out there? What's wrong? You look positively drained. Did something happen to you? Um, told Slaff about the monsters he'd been fighting and the events le leading up to those battles. Wow, it looks like some kind of fairy tale. First the storm wall, now this? Are we in a magical fantasy land? Built for someone's amusement? Eh, either way, you've got a heaping look helping- at the Look at the camera. Okay, look at the camera? No, no, that- No, I'm- Are we in a magical land built for someone with loot amusement and they look at the camera? <laughs> okay, breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, either way, you've got a heaping helping of destiny on your plate, Adol. Eat up, I say. Actually, will you follow me for a moment? Okay, let's go to the roof. So, so... In, um... Okay, not to the roof. Damn it. I was gonna say... Uh, and, and this is the part in most romance stories where we start going to the roof and having sex. Okay, now we're in... He gave me... Here, take the sword with you. A Tal War. Okay, so that's the free Tal War. I found it while patrolling at Whitehorn Beach six months ago. Probably from a trade ship capsized by the Stormwall. Which means they won't miss it, so don't feel bad. <laughs> the merchant misses it. I think it came from one of the countries in the east. The curved blade gives it a distinctive feel. I think you'll make good use of it. Hope it comes in handy in fighting all those monsters. <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah, I think you... The, the store will actually stock them once you beat the boss of the dungeon. Ah, uh, okay, well, that, that, this is good. <laughs> it's weird, you know, seeing that determined look in your eyes. I almost want to go with you. Ah, oh, well, I'll see you later, man. If you need anything else, don't you hesitate to swing by. Oh, there's there's nothing else I can get from this town. I don't think. Yeah, this is pr this is pretty much the only reason to come back here. So sorry, buddy, but I'm not gonna come back. And uh, that I there's two more slots for swords, but I don't know um how how much I don't know where we would get them yet. But anyway, I'll tell you. Th I'll tell you, it ain't gonna be for the end of this dungeon okay so let's see files save so i have the strongest sword i can now i can't afford any stronger armor or shields yet so let's go back all the way back to zepic all right we're gonna go back to zepic and um then we're gonna turn in the bell <laughs> the thing is the funny thing about this game is while, like, it it's not really paced very well in terms of, like, we have a lot of stuff to do and then we keep interrupting our main quest by going, um, finding something and then going to another area. Um, it, do it doesn't feel like these dungeons are very long and at least it breaks up the monotony. Um, I, it kind of depends on what you're looking for when it comes to... Uh, it comes to an experience with a game. Like, if you're looking for straight-up dungeons that aren't interrupted, or if you're looking, like, for something like uh, Final Fantasy 1, where there's a dungeon that has, like, six floors, and then you, you get to a certain point, and then you have another six floors after you do a task. Like, it, it all depends what you're really looking for. Um, I, I think if you go out of your way to do the side quests as they come, it's better paced. But there's still a lot of dungeons back-to-back -back after that first two hours. Well, granted, in, I think in the original NES game, it didn't have all these side quests. It's just it's just stuff that was added later. I think it was just a straight sh shot through all the dungeons, pretty much. Which, in the original cases, I think is poor pacing. 
Um, since you have a lot of, like, oh, everything's calm and happy, we go to the towns, nothing really, like, involved in terms of dungeons, and all of a sudden, dungeon, dungeon, dungeon. But that's just me. I mean, I've stated multiple times, I am not an old-school gamer. By any stretch of the imagination. And I was, I was trying to go back <laughs> this week, because I'm playing Chain of Memories, like, I tried to go back to my Game Boy Advance SP and I don't know how I played it when I was a kid because it is it is sometimes too old school the screen is so small it it, it starts to become hard to um hard, hard to watch at times because the screen um is is so tiny so I'm like okay I'll use my Game Boy player and that just stopped working after a while and I'm just like okay well, old school games hate me, so I've just I've taken to playing remakes. All right, uh, still heading to Zepic, or are you there? I'm at Zepic. Yeah, okay, we need to go to talk to the mayor. Okay, he's in the. I know where he is. Oh my, it's the Silver Bell. Was it the thieves? Were they the ones who retrieved uh, you retrieved it from? What's that? The thieves didn't have it. It was beneath the old shrine. Hmm, I'm... I'm confused. Why in the world would it have been there? Well, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is it's been returned. We're safe again! Thank you so much, adventurer. As a token of my appreciation, I give you this ring. Wear it well. Okay, so we got the power ring. Now, um, it's a fairly family heirloom with mystical properties. I believe it will prove very useful to you. Now, here comes the choice that we have to make because with the rings, um. Each one, like, there, it, there is no best ring. Um, we well, there is one, but that's only really my opinion. Yeah. We, yeah. I'll talk about it when we get it. Um, the power ring doubles the damage. The shield ring halves the damage that you receive. So, yes. um... Doubles the damage is accurate. It doesn't double your strengths. doesn't do anything with your stats. So, if you're attacking a stronger monster... And you're doing only one damage; it'll only get do two. Mm hmm. So, this is one of those things where it's like, do I want strength or defense? Um, I think for the upcoming boss, defense is needed. Uh, I don't. I don't think the rings will actually actually help with bosses. Actually, I think it's only just regular enemies. Either way, uh, those rings, like, they have interesting stats, and I, I like that they have, like, for the most part, it's not just, oh, this one adds a little bit more. It gives you a little bit more strategy to your arsenal. Um, but, anyway, back to the shrine. Alright, I'm in the shrine. I'm saving... We have spent half an hour just doing all of that. And I think, yeah, and I think it was, it's been pretty much 50-50 of us being in the dungeon and out of it. Pretty much. I mean, granted, I like the idea of having things that you can find in the dungeon that will help you later. And the fact that you could leave at any time. So I'm fine with that. Um, but, you know, this is one of those dungeons where you're going to spend... Um, I'm pretty sure this is a, one of the longer dungeons in the game. Like, obviously, Darm Tower is 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 uh, longer, but if I remember correctly, the mine is not very long. The bo the boss at the bottom of that will make you think otherwise. Oh, oh fuck that guy! I I hate that boss so much. Alright, um, I found the staircase, but I want to go... I, I didn't go to the final... 
door. So let's see. Let's see what's in this final passageway over on the right. Hey, Rodolphus, how's it going? Welcome to the uh, the East stream. Uh, we're dungeon crawling right now. Okay, so. Oh, crap. What is this thing? Blue Devil? Oh, it takes two hits to kill. You have equipped the tower, right? Yeah. Just making sure. Sometimes it's easy to forget to do that. No, I, I have RPG logic on right now. Like, I know uh, you have to equip stuff, like, immediately. Okay. Uh, Ivory Key has been obtained. Uh, that's that's for, for the boss door. That's for the boss door, okay. Uh, just emotionally drained still even after a day. I'm sorry, Rodolphus. Um, I hope things improve for you. I know things can be a little bit draining at the moment. I know I've had a bit of a week. Um, I think we've all had a bit of a month. Okay, oh yeah, there's there's a lot of teleportation coming up, I see. Hmm. Yeah, this, this dungeon uses gold statue teleportation which is, in my opinion, one of the, the most annoying of dungeon tactics. Because, like, I understand it, it lengthens the dungeon, but it also is very confusing. And it only... And while it doesn't involve gold statues, the teleportation only gets worse later on. All right, I have two gold statues to choose from. There's one on the right and there's one on the left. And I'm losing health fast. I'm gonna try this statue here. Uh, left takes me to a chest with a heal potion. Alright, um, now that I've gotten that, I'm going to head up to the second doorway, that, that statue I should say. Okay, this leads me to... I've got to be very careful here. I only have one more hit. So, I'm going to head back to... Ah, oh, crap, I can't. I can't go back with the statue. Okay, I got the silver shield. Well, probably won't keep you from dying, but it should prolong things. Yeah. Alright, uh, next chance I get, I'm going to see if I can head back to the start of the dungeon. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do at all. Um, and I died. Uh, I'm gonna have to do that again. The enemies don't mess around on that floor. Okay, so... B1... Down to B2. Make sure you save. You p make sure you save when you get the silver shield again. Well, yeah, I, I didn't want to save it just then because I had no health. But I will. 
All right. Well, you should know the way. Know the way back there. Yep, I know the way back now. Like that's the thing. Like these these dungeons are like uh, a series of mazes. Once you know the maze, you can avoid a lot of uh, trouble. And like grinding, grinding doesn't help too much. Like granted. It does help to, to gain levels a little bit, but I find that grinding is best in the overworld, because in the dungeons, your health doesn't replenish. Okay, so... Well, at least not in this dungeon, but that, again, that's a topic for another time. Okay... Okay, now we got a heal potion again. Okay, and back. And I'm gonna head all the way over to the second statue. Alright, so, going. The other bad thing about this dungeon is that you are in a bunch of narrow corridors when with enemies. That is not a really good place for the bump system to be working. The bump system needs wide open spaces. Alright, I got the sh silver shield. I'm going to save in a second file. Just in case. I'm going to equip the shield. And then we're going to head through the statue. Ah, 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 ah. Sorry, foot cramp. Um, so... I know the feeling. Um, let's see. What's up here? Is there anything good in this area? Okay, chest. Found chest. Ivory key. Yeah, we grabbed that one before. I guess you didn't miss it this time. Oh, it took me back up to this area. It's weird. Now that we have the ivory key, I think we've got everything we need to do here. Now we need to start looking with the Mask of Eyes. Oh, okay. Um, before we do that, I'm going to head back to the main entrance. Simply so that I can um, save the game. How much time we got left? Let's see. I uh, it's We have about like 45 minutes. Okay, I think we can actually finish up the dungeon in that time. Yeah, we should be able to finish up the dungeon. Uh, Thanos using the mind reality stones. Okay, I, I'm not going to get into Infinity War spoilers. Uh, please don't spoil in the chat for, for people who haven't seen it yet. Um, but I do agree that... Uh, um, well, yeah, that, that's not a spoiler for Infinity War. That's a what-if scenario, but I... Um, anyway, like, I've seen Infinity War. Infinity War is really good. Um, I just don't, I want to avoid as many spoilers as I can for people who haven't seen it yet. Um, but yeah, in Infinity War was a little bit draining. I'm not gonna lie, I really liked it, and I kind of knew it was coming, because I've actually, like, I, I've, I've read the comic, so, um, but, yeah, like, the Infinity War was one of those ones that, really fantastic film, 
but you need to go into it with a specific mindset, especially for that ending. Anyway, okay, so where do we look with the Mask of Eyes? Uh, it's hard. It's hard to say where, considering I can't tell what you are most of the time. Well, I'm on B. Well, uh, I'm on the first floor of the dungeon right now. Which floor is it on, first of all? It's back with all the teleporting statues. Okay. But don't. But don't equip again. Don't equip it and just try and walk through because, while it will make things that are invisible visible, it will also make the enemies invisible. Yep, as uh, these games are wont to do for some reason. Okay. Do 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 Alright, I am on B3. So I need to look down where those those teleport statues were. I'm not sure if it's behind one of the t if you have to use one at least s some of the teleport statues or something. I'm just I'm trying to remember. But you do need to use the mask of eyes at some point, and it's next to a stat one of the. On warp warping statues, the ones that aren't golden. Okay. Let me try. Um, let me try put on here. Let's see, equip. That's not it. I want to V. Okay. Yeah, it should be an item, not equip. Yep, it's in my items. Yeah, you need to select it like, uh... Like, uh, an equipable item. Okay, you are a piece of shit, monster. Oh, I leveled up. Well, that, that'll that do good for your survivability. There we go, I think I found it. Make sure to unequip it so you can see the enemies, because they were probably perfect. Because the game is probably a bit of a dick like that. Yep. Alright, so this one I can't use, but if I put on the Mask of Eyes... Um, I still can't use it. Oh, I can actually go through this wall, though. That's that's why. Yeah, yeah that, that's what we're looking for. I'm... Okay, first things first, I'm going to not use that teleport statue there. Okay, I have two teleport statues. One is on the right, and one is on the left. Alright, I'm trying to look at look the guy. Take the one on the right. Okay. Okay, I got a chest with a marble key. That's enough. That's to open the other bo boss door. For some reason, the boss doors come in sets of two, like in Mega Man. <laughs> and you need keys for both of them. Oh crap! I hate the enemies here. It's too, it's too narrow. Okay. Now I'm going to use the other teleport statue. Watch out for the enemy, that'll be to the south when you, when, when you get there. Okay. Alright, I'm in a place with water. Yep, that's the bottom floor, so, yeah. 
How you doing on health? Um, let's see here. I'm gonna move this. Um, I'm about three quarters. Uh, it's doable if you're able to get the pattern down. Um, I do Especially have... since we're on normal. I, I do have a heal potion, though. I um, don't know if you're allowed to use them on bosses, which is stupid. Uh, let's see. Can I use it now, though? Yeah, you can use it now. Okay. I have it equipped. And now how do I, I use it? I, there should be a use button. It's only an equip button. Because it's an item. Yeah, I think it's a special button on the over when you're back on the overworld when with it equipped. All right. Um, well, I at least got down here now. I, what I can do is I can go back to the start of the dungeon because I know how to get back here. Go back to the start of the dungeon, heal, avoid enemies. Save. Yep. Okay. S save often. I heard Marvel Key and I was wondering where the DC key was. Uh, nice. Okay, I know exactly where to go for everything now. This dungeon is, is a piece of work, but I, I'm slowly conquering it. It's it, Honestly, this is probably one of the more complex dungeons in the game, because the, re the rest of them aren't this... Uh, maze-like, I want to say. Also, you don't have to do as much bat tracking. Yeah, that's true, too. The only reason we're backtracking so much is because we need to go back to the t top floor to heal. Yeah, that's just a stupid design. It's just like, yeah, I get it. You don't want people to... You want to give the challenge for the specific dungeon, but not being able to heal in the dungeon is like the is a sin. I mean, we do have that heal potion, but again, uh, we don't know what button to do to use it. Yeah. And honestly, I would rather probably save that for Dark Fact. No. You can't use it on him, with him. Fuck. Again, I told you, you can't... I don't, for some reason, you can't use the heal potion with bosses. I've And I know this because I've tried. Well, it looks like we're Dark Fucked then. <laughs> Nice to know you remembered that. <laughs> okay, so we are now at full health. I'm going to save. We are level 7, which is way over-leveled for this area of the game. Well, the guy that actually says it should, you, you should be around there for the boss. Oh, okay, so the first boss is, is like with the shrine is where you should be level five, and then that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna try to avoid as many of these fuckers as I can. Um, gotta go down. Do 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 do. Even when I, when I even when I know where I'm going, sometimes this place throws me through a loop because the hallways all look the same. Okay, I'm back on B three, so I just gotta go down one more. Ah, fuck these narrow hallways. If there is any other fighting system in, in play. Yeah, the, the thing about Infinity War Rodolphus is that it could have felt bloated. It was not. Like, it was one of those films where, in any other hands, it could have been, like... It could have felt overblown and, like, really just, uh, not good. Uh, none of it felt like it was unnecessary. Anyway, we're at the boss area. I'm, I'm, I'm treading through water now. So before I head into the boss room, save. 
in the second save slot. So I have two save slots, one outside the, the shrine and one inside the shrine, just in case. And my internet dropped just a second here, and I'm back. Okay. So, um, I haven't fought this boss in a while. I will probably die. Get your death counters ready. Let's do this. Oh, you're right at the door. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Ed, I'll use the marble key. Uh, terrifying bloodlust from within the passage. Some sort of great power was awakening. And then the ivory key. Okay. I am... Did you save before you get one in? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, this guy. Centi it's kind of like a centipede. Yeah, the thing is, he's always... Basically... A homing god. He will always home in on your location. But... You can use that against him. If, if you can get him... Do, you can get him in a loop, basically. Where mm -hmm. you can basically run the diameter of a circle and hit him. Yeah, so far so good. I've got him pretty low now. But you can't attack him from head, from head on, because he basically w will win that fight. Yep. Because of the pincers. Got it. Yeah, you gotta attack from the side. Alright, it looks like two more hits. Yeah, got him. Maybe I've gotten better in recent years, but I remember dying a couple of times to him uh, the first time. Okay, hidden room behind the wall. Book of East has been obtained. We have our title. Alright, so, um, I guess that's all I need here. I'm going to save again, because I just beat the boss. And we do not want to do that again. Even if we did beat it our first try. Yeah, even if we beat it the first try, like, that's one of those where, um, if I would have totally forgotten, uh, had I, had you not reminded me. Scribble Knots Unlimited started the zombie attack challenge, and for the crying girl I gave her demon, death, Satan, and a zombie. She didn't like any of those things. I wonder why. All right, so now we we're we're going out of the shrine again for the final time. Yeah, the, we've we've been in and out of this shrine a lot. Um, in this, it took us an hour to beat the shrine. Yeah, basically, it took us an hour to get here and then an hour to beat the shr the shrine. File... Uh, no, I don't want that. I gotta equip the Mask of Eyes. Yeah, for some reason you can't use the invisible door when... Even though you know where it is. Unless you got the Mask of Eyes. Here's a question. Is it supposed to be Mask of Eyes or Mask of East? Because I, yep. could, I could see them, like, doing that. Uh, I think it is meant to be Mask of Eyes. Okay. I mean, granted, yeah, like, it's about seeing stuff, so that makes sense. Oh, and I leveled up. I'm level 8 now. <laughs> it, the funny thing is, there's only... There's only, uh, 10 levels max in the game. And we just beat and the first dungeon. And unfortunately, you're gonna need to be max level to beat the boss of the mine. Or... Yeah, the, ma the, the boss of the mine is a nightmare compared to, uh... What we just went through. Like, Dark... Well, Dark well, Fucked no, is a nightmare, really but... enough. He can be a nightmare if you don't know what to do. He's also... But even when you know what to do, he's just tedious. Yeah. Uh, it's like... I find that the bosses in this game are just badly designed. And it's like, no, it's 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 no fault of the game. I think it's the problem is the bump system. Because if you're trying to create bosses around the bump system, you have to do it in, like, a Legend of Zelda way... way where um, position uh, matters, and you you can't screw over your players, and that's what tends to happen with these. Like the boss designs work against the bump system, and that's that's the biggest problem I have. Where you know, if I'm fighting using the bump system, I'm going to want to yeah. use yeah, it a certain way. The problem with 
both the boss of the mine and dark fact is again like you said they work against the bump system but they also have periods where they can't can't be hit oh yeah the next one is the guy that teleports and appears at random times it's like the bat guy and the yeah thing, and and like it's random when it appears so it's just like okay well you have to predict when he's gonna be there and and in time your hits accordingly but there are times and he's only ever open for a fra like a frame like a fraction of a second and you have to anticipate exactly where he's going to be uh um now we have to give the book of east back to Manea, right uh, no, we actually have to go to Jebba. All right. So, we just need to go back to Zapek. Okay. Uh, now if I can remember where her house is. Is she the top left? No, I think she's, like, bo in bottom right. All right, let's try bottom right. I don't care, old man Cronin. Okay, found her. So now we have a girl. And the girl's pretty. But she's also a goddess, so, like, you know, don't get any ideas. Um, at all. Don't worry about Fina. You... What, what's that? Wait, I was like, weren't you just <laughs> talking about not wanting to spoil people? It's, but that's the whole point of the game. Like, it's it's not really a big spoiler since it's going to be revealed in, like... It, it's revealed in the opening cutscene. Uh, don't worry about Fina. She's feeling just fine. Her fever wasn't anything serious. She was just fatigued from her long and frightening ordeal. I'm sorry, Adol. I can't believe I just collapsed like that without even properly thanking you. Because that's the problem, you didn't thank me. It's a bit late now, but thank you, Adol Kristen, for saving me from that dark, dank prison. Okay, speak to Jebba. Continue looking after Fina for a while. I think some of the area's less savory inhabitants have taken an unhealthy interest in her. Well, uh, no. It's, well, she is pretty. Why would I be in prison in such a place? Try as I might, I simply cannot remember. My memories. Oh, no, wait. I, I think we do need to go back to Minea before we talk to Gemma about the book. Okay. I just remembered. That's what I was thinking, but I, you know, we're gonna have to go back there anyway because we now have money to buy the higher level armor. So let's let's head all the well, way back to Minea. At least just the armor, because I think the shield we have is way is better than the thing in the. Unless <laughs> you wanna complete the menu of course yeah i do want to complete the menu but i'm not gonna spend the money on something that i'm not going to need right now especially since we're going to be entering the mine and the mine requires a little bit more defense for that fucking vampire okay so at least the mine it, he's the the only boss there so it's, there's nothing really in between us. It's just a straight dungeon crawl to the boss. Yep. Okay, so... Now I'm talking to Rhea. I'm Rhea, a poet and troubadour. My priceless silver harmonica has been stolen. I don't know what to do. I value it nearly as much as my own life. That's all she's saying. Um, uh, I think we need to actually go to the fortune teller. Okay. She is the one that sent us on this quest after all. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's the problem is that the quest log is like non-existent. I, I what quest log? That's why I said non-existent. <laughs> yeah, that's not the fortune teller. Yeah, like bottom left, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I thought I was in the bottom left, but I was not. I was not. It's not in the file. It's not. Okay, there you are. I'm afraid I have bad news. Sarah was murdered, though we know not who is responsible. Oh, the fortune teller was murdered. 
Oh, oh. That poor woman. Please take this book. She gave it to me shortly before her death. Book of East has been received. So we have now one and two. She said to give it to a red-haired swordsman named Adol, and she smiled as she spoke your name. But if she was murdered, how did you know... Like, did, did she do this before she was murdered? Did you murder her? I thought she was... She, did she leave a note? <laughs> I thought she was joking, but then I should have known better. She is a fortune teller after all. You, uh, you idiot. Ah, uh, yes, it seems that with her last dying breath... Okay, so she was killed. And then with her last breath, she muttered, Adol, abandoned mine at Rastin. As your name was spoken, I assumed you would understand the message she wished to convey. No, I don't know. But okay. So that's where we have to go next. At least they give, gave you a direct... But I think we, right now, I think we can take the books to Jedha. Jebba. Okay. Jebba's the guy from Darkstalkers. Okay, um, now back to Zepic. Uh, there's too much backtracking. At least it's mercifully short. It is mercifully short. Um, that, that's one thing I will give this game is that it is... For, for a game that's designed with, like, backtracking and with lots of dungeons back to back to back, they do, they aren't very long, and not very far apart. Hmm. Uh. All right, let's try going to visit Jebba again. Oh, you're heading out, Rodolphus. Later. That was a short visit, but I'm always happy to see you on the stream. Ah, it's you. If you're looking for Fina, she went out for a walk around the village. What's wrong? You don't look well. Adol told Jebba of Sarah's passing. I see. I had a terrible premonition that something like this might happen. What, are you the fortune teller's sister? <laughs> I think she, it's either her mother or her aunt. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So it runs in the family. Sarah, too, seemed to know the fate that stood before her. I suppose. It was her job to know, after all. No, it wasn't her job. It just... She was a fortune teller. She knew stuff. That, it, that doesn't make it her job. Alright, hold on. Okay. Let's go take a walk. She's out on the pier, if I remember correctly. Yep, hello. Time for a cutscene. I like how they added these kind of scenes to it, because I'm pretty sure these weren't in the original version of the game. Um, it adds a little more atmosphere to it. At all. I can never thank you enough for rescuing me from that prison cell. It feels so good to be free. I still can't remember anything but my name, though. Who am I? What have I done with my life? And why was I locked in that cell in the first place? I don't know the answers to any of it. I only know that my name is Fina, and I've been a f prisoner. Why can't I remember anything more? This is a lovely village. Jebba introduced me to the villagers, and everyone seems so very nice. This is the first time I can recall when I felt so at peace. I don't really care if I never get my memories back. If I could stay in this place with these people, I know, 
I know I should be trying harder to remember, but I'm just so happy here. Oh, okay. S since we found that Fina was awake, I think we actually need to go talk to Jebba again, and then she'll let us read, read the books of East. Oh, God. Long ago, East was ruled by two goddesses and six priests. Sarah and I are descended from one of these priests. Much of Sarah's power came from the Toba bloodline. I suspect she knew more about the disasters befalling Asteria than anyone could have imagined. Ask Jebba to read. Okay. Well, we cannot grieve Sarah's loss forever. In order to grant her dying wish, you must continue onward, Adol. You must find the Books of East. I am fully convinced that you are the swordsman whose coming Sarah foretold. At any rate, the book of the books of East. I'm a bit rusty, but with Sarah gone, I'm the only one left who can read the ancient script. Um, okay, volume Hadal. So this is the book you found in the shrine. Long ago, Claria was created in East. It was displayed in the Temple of Solomon as a monument to prosperity, but suddenly disaster struck. In the shadow of that prosperity, evil had grown and brought with it the seeds of suffering. It struck with all-consuming fury, and in the wake of its demon hordes, even the fair land of uh, Celceta became as ash. It struck down with all-consuming fury and righteous anger. <laughs> and you will know my name is the Lord. When I, I, lay... knew, I knew you, it was going to lead into that joke. <laughs> When I lay my vengeance upon thee. But even if all were to be wiped away, the prosperity and the suffering alike, the twin trees and twin moons would forever watch over this land. Volume Tova. This is the book of East lost from our family storehouse long ago. East was healed by two goddesses and six priests. The goddesses embody the spirit of our land and inspire our lives. One represents order, and the other freedom. Well, I know which one represents freedom. Um, if we ever, uh, if we were to ever lose them, all our struggles and achievements would come to naught, and we would never again know peace. We must not lose the goddesses, regardless of the cost, even unto eternity's shadow. The words recorded in these books will surely illuminate the truth behind Asteria's turmoil. The storm wall, the appearance of the monsters, the continued theft of all items made from silver, and now Sarah's death. I'm certain that all of this stems from a great instability in the flow of destiny. You are the only one with the ability to uncover the truth behind it all. Fun fact. The, temp the S Temple of Solomon they mentioned, it was originally one time Romanized as the, t uh, well, in East 2, it's called the Palace of Solomon, but in one translation it was co once called the Palace of Salmon. Really? <laughs> really, okay. The Palace of Salmon. Good, good job, good job. Um... All right, uh... One implies wisdom, the other implies fish. <laughs> okay, um, Fina does not remember anything yet, um... I, I think all we can do now is head into the mine, unless you want to call it a quits now and save that for later. Yeah, I think this is a good place to stop for now. It's been a little bit of a shorter stream than I would like, but I do have to go for uh, electrolysis, and I need to get some funds out of my account. So with that being said, um, thank you guys very much for watching.
Um, hope you have a fantastic evening. Take care. Um, and, uh, you know, play a good game. Have some fun. I will see you guys next time. Hey, this is Megami33. Thank you for watching Zenith Will Review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome videos. If you like what you see, check out the Patreon page at patreon.com slash zenithwillreview.